Now, still running with the theme of companies in the news. Today, Who Owns Kenya takes a look at Diamond Trust Bank Limited, which was in the news recently over a rights issue. But first, let's get a definition of what exactly a rights issue is. Now, a rights issue is a sale of additional shares to existing shareholders by a company to raise capital. The shares sold under a rights issue are, as a rule, discounted and thus much lower than the normal share price. In the case of Diamond Trust Bank, or DTB as it's popularly known, shareholders will have an option to buy additional shares at a share price of 74 shillings per share, which represents a 27.5% discount from the share price of 102 shillings, which was the Diamond Trust Bank share price at the beginning of July. But interestingly, Diamond Trust Bank shares have since taken a dip and by the end of the week were selling at 94 shillings and 50 cents. Analysts say this was caused by a flurry of investors selling off their shares out of fear that the rights issue will dampen the DTB share price. Now, this is the third time in just six years that DTB is doing a rights issue. The bank says it aims to raise 1.81 billion shillings, which it will use for regional expansion. The cash raised through the rights issue will see DTB expand its operations, it says, to Rwanda, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Mozambique, and South Sudan. The rights issue starts on July 17th and ends on August 10th. The new shares will start trading at the NSC on September 3rd. Now time for a quick look at the history of Diamond Trust Bank. The bank was founded in 1946 and is today among the top 10 banks in the country. Besides Kenya, the bank has a presence in Tanzania, Uganda and Burundi with a total network of 64 branches spread across East Africa. Last year, the bank's pre-tax profit rose uh, by 24% from 3.5 billion shillings in the previous year to 4.3 billion shillings. Time for the crucial question now. Who are the top 10 shareholders in Diamond Trust Bank? Here we go. As of April 2012, the top 10 shareholders uh, were, let's just take a look at the list. Phoenix of East Africa Insurance Company, uh, Company Limited, we're told uh, the shareholding is 0.64%, uh, valued at 119.6 million shillings. At number nine, Property Development and Management Limited, 127.1 million uh, shillings worth of shares uh, they hold. Let's take a look at number eight now. And that is Standard Chartered Nominees. It's a Standard Chartered Nominee uh, account with 130.6 million shillings worth of shares. Value, uh, that's about 0.7 percent worth of shares. Amin Nanjin Juma uh, holds 171.5 million shillings worth of shares. That's about 0.92 percent. Let's take a look at number six. Now, Cray Cell Investments Limited, and uh, they have 1.17 uh, percent uh, shareholding, which is valued at 237.5 million shillings. Diamond Jubilee Uganda Limited, uh, their shares are valued at 347.7 million uh, uh, shillings, that's about 1.87%. And moving on to take a look at number four, international finance company, the IFC, holds uh, 1.83 billion shillings worth of shares, that's about 9.85%. We have Jubilee Insurance Company with 1.95 billion shillings worth of shares uh, and we're told um, that's about 10.54%. Habib Bank Limited, 2.12 billion shillings worth of shares, that's 11.42%. And Aga Khan Fund for Economic Development, also known as ACFED, holds 17.32% and that's 3.22 billion shillings worth of shares. ACFED is the majority uh, shareholder. Let's take a look at our quote of the week now. And it reads, an interesting cheeky one. A bank is a place where they will lend you the money if you can prove that you really don't need it. Yes, many people are saying right now. American comedian Bob Hope, you know, I've heard a lot of people say that. Sometimes people do get frustrated with banks precisely, and say, look, precisely. you know, they don't give you the money when you need it. Precisely. <laughs> Tell us about sports. Of course, uh, Julie, it's a bumper Sunday sports bulletin this evening. Fantastic. Of course, uh, we have an update on the Sotokoto Half Marathon, as well as we have an update on rally action. Of course, we have so much KPL action as well. All that is coming up in just a moment. Please take it away. As I just said, all that in just a moment. Short interlude, return. It's Sunday Live Sports.